Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I would do my July favorites, but also talk about the products that didn't work out for me. And I, this is something that I want to incorporate into my uh, monthly favorites coming up or every month after this, just because I feel like it will definitely be helpful for you guys to know what impressed me, but also what disappointed me, you know? So let's go ahead and get started because I have a lot to get through today. And yeah, we're gonna kick it off. I wanna talk about this guy right here because this is a skincare product that I've been using for probably the past like four to six weeks, I would say. Um, this is from Image Skincare and it's the Clear Cell Medicated Acne Lotion. So the reason that I really want to bring this up is because a couple months ago, uh, I did a video all about like my ride or die skincare products and in that video, I talked about a prescription acne medication lotion that I got from my dermatologist and I swear by that stuff, I really, really really do think that it helped me get rid of my acne and really helped me clear up my skin. But the problem is that I have not had time to go back to the dermatologist in I don't know how long because I moved away from like that area that my dermatologist is at. So now it's like really, really difficult for me to like get up there. And it sounds so sad that I haven't been up there in almost two months now at this point. But because I wasn't um, able to fit into my schedule and it just wasn't working out scheduling wise, I oh, <laughs> saved it. I started using this guy because it was just in my skincare drawers. And it has really, really not, I wouldn't say taken the place, but I feel like it's impressed me to the extent where I would say that it's an equal alternative. If you don't want to go to the dermatologist, if you don't really want to, you know, I don't know, maybe you just don't wanna take the time to go into a dermatologist and have to get a prescription. This would be a great over-the-counter alternative. And for me, it's been working amazingly. I've found that my skin just reacts so much better to benzoyl peroxide than it does to salicylic acid. So that's definitely something that I look for in like acne products or just products, um, skincare products in general that are meant to keep my skin clear. So this is a benzoyl peroxide um, product. It has 5% benzoyl peroxide. And like I said, I just feel like it has been helping me with oil control, with sebum control. I haven't been breaking out since I've been using this. And normally I would only rely on my prescription one, but I am happy that like I was able to try this out so that I could tell you guys, just in case, like I said, if you guys don't have a dermatologist that you wanna go to or don't want to go to a dermatologist, try this one out. Cause it's an over the counter alternative that I think is pretty equal to my favorite prescription one. Um, okay, so... Speaking of skin, Too Faced came out with some new shades of the Born This Way foundation. They collaborated with Jackie Guyana to extend the shade range, which I think is amazing. Um, but inside of that expansion, I found my perfect shade match and it is the shade Praline. So you guys already know I really, really do like this foundation. It gives a very nice, I would say like natural matte finish. It's medium to full coverage. I've talked about this a million and one times. I mean, it's not, you know, a new foundation, but I did wanna just mention my new shade because it's like spot on, the perfect match. So yeah, Praline of the new Too Faced Born, or not the new, but of the Too Faced Born This Way, um, the new shade. Okay, I also have some clothing items this time. <laughs> Switching it up here. Um, first off, I wanted to talk about these super basic crop tops. These are from Meshki Boutique. I absolutely love these. I had to buy one in every single shade that they sell. I just feel like they're the perfect basic item that still adds a little bit of flair to your look. So what they look like is just this Pretty basic, like I said, crop top that has teeny tiny strings on them. They go with anything and everything, especially um, since now I have three shades of them or three colors, I keep saying shades, but three colors of them. They go with literally anything and everything, any makeup look, any hairstyle, any clothing item, any bottoms. They go with everything and they're very flattering. Um, and I just am really into this style right now of like the straight across and then the little straps. I feel like it's very in, but also comfortable. Like, I, don't, I just, I really like these. I really, really do. I mean, obviously, if you buy three colors of something, that means you really like them. I'll hold up the other ones just so you could see. So I had the black one there. This is the white one. I mean, they honestly look exactly the same because they're the same shirt, but I'll just show you guys just for good measure. And then this is the nude one right here. The nude is probably like my favorite cause I just feel like it looks so chic, but I do like all of them because you just never know. You never know when you're gonna need a white, a black 
or a nude. This is another fashion favorite of mine. Honestly, I love tops like this in general that are kind of like this off the shoulder bardeau sort of style. Um, I just feel like they're very like casual, they're cute, they're comfortable, and you can dress them up or dress them down. So I feel like it's just an all around great option. And this particular one is so cute. Like I love the coloring of it and the style of it. Um, I've worn it a million times this month. And one thing that I really like about this particular one is that it can go with so many different bottoms. So I've worn this with white shorts, with high-waisted denim jeans, even with black jeans. And I wore it with a skirt once as well. And like every option or every pairing that I did was so cute. So I got this one from Shoe Dazzle and you may have seen it in the lookbook that I just posted on my Instagram this morning. So if you haven't seen it, check that out because it was so cool to work with Shoe Dazzle on that, honestly, because I don't know, it was just so like customizable. I was able to pick out all my favorites from the site and I genuinely was very impressed with like the quality of the clothing and also with the shoes, which is my next little venture here. So you guys know if you follow me on Instagram that I love shoes like this. They're just kind of like the classical, um, or not classical, but the classic kind of strappy stilettos. These are my favorite types of heels just because I feel like they go with anything and everything. And they're just iconic. Iconic's the word to use. These particularly I loved because of the shade of them. They're this beautiful like gold metallic shade and they do have like a square top or a square like cut off at the top, um, which I think just adds like a little bit of an extra oomph to the shoes. But these look beautiful with gold jewelry. Like I wore these actually with a white dress and gold jewelry at one point um, to an event or something. And it was so pretty just because I feel like it matches so well and it adds like a little pop to the outfit. Actually, I wore them with this dress as well um, in the lookbook. But yeah, like I said, these were just some of my favorites. If you wanna check out all my favorites, you can check out the lookbook on my Instagram or you can also click the link down below. They actually made me, they were so sweet. They made me like a little favorites page and I think it's just shoedazzle.com slash Roxette and it's all of my like top picks from the sites that I picked out, a lot of the stuff that I wore in the Instagram lookbook so it's just easy for you guys to find it if you did wanna find it. So I thought that was so cool that they did that and if you do use that link, you'll actually get 50% off your order which I think is pretty cool and again, I don't make any affiliate money off that. I always like to tell you guys, um, but it's just kind of like for you guys to save a little bit of extra money. And honestly, the, the products or the items that I got were reasonably affordable, I would say. So with the extra 50% off, I think that, I mean, I hope that you guys really enjoy that um, because I always like to like help you guys out as much as I can. I have a new favorite palette. This is from Melt Cosmetics and it's called the 27 palette. It is so beautiful, you guys. If you are a warm tone lover, this is gonna be the palette of your dreams. I just feel like this palette has so many great shades that you can use for so many different looks. It's a very versatile palette. And I just feel like in general, these shades are so wearable for so many different people. And again, if you love warm tones, you will love this palette, but not only are the shades amazing, the formula is incredible, both the mattes and the shimmers, or honestly, these aren't even really shimmers, I would say they're more like metallics. They are so pigmented, like, yeah. I've always been a huge fan of Melt Cosmetics, actually, and this eyeshadow palette really did not disappoint. Um, I just feel like, like I said, these metallics are everything and you get a nice bronze shade but also like a coppery shade so depending on what kind of like warm tone makeup look i feel like you do have like a pop of shimmer well metallic shimmer um for any like look that you would want to do that's kind of like that bronzy copper family tone but on top of that the mattes are amazing you guys like such a good blendable formula these mattes blend so easily into the crease they are great to create a full matte look because there are so many mattes inside of this palette and i just feel like the quality is everything the tones are there the formulas are there you're getting everything you need and this is what I've been traveling with, honestly. It's what I took with me to San Francisco and what I am gonna take with me to um, Vancouver next week. It could be ride or die material for me. We'll see in a couple months if I still continue to love it and continue to use it. But so far this month, um, ever since it got released, I have been very, very impressed with this and just impressed with how many different 
makeup looks I've been able to create with this one palette. And that's something that I always take into consideration when I'm telling you guys about um, like a palette or you know a new launch or anything is like how much are you gonna be able to use this? How many looks are you gonna be able to create? Is it really gonna be worth your money to spend on a palette or any makeup product? And I really do feel like if you're looking for a warm tone palette, this might be the one to go with. I'm just gonna, just gonna put it that way. Another launch that I was so excited about this month was the Dose of Colors and I Love Sada E palette. I mean, not palette, but collection, full collection. Um, Karen is seriously, you guys, one of the sweetest people in this industry. Like, just so beautiful on the outside, but also so beautiful on the inside. So I'm so happy for her and like, everything that she's been accomplishing and stuff. And the collection is beautiful. You guys know I am such a big fan of Dose of Colors uh, formulas. So, okay, I was really excited. Um, but on top of that, the shades that she came out with inside of the collection are gorgeous. I haven't had much of a chance to play around with the eyeshadows actually. I did swatch them and they look really, really pretty, but I haven't used them too much in um, many makeup looks. But my two favorite like standout products from the collection are actually these two lip colors. These lip colors are gorgeous, you guys. So one of them is called Fressa and then the other is Aesthetic. Aesthetic is like, honestly, I think this might be like one of my go-to fall lip colors because it's such a pretty kind of burnt sienna shade it actually goes i don't know why i'm swatching on like with my left hand on my right hand it doesn't really make sense yeah well, you know what didn't feel right when i was holding this one so i'm gonna switch it to this side but this is such a beautiful shade you guys and it's honestly very unique i feel like it's that perfect burnt sienna shade it kind of goes really well with them all of the melt cosmetics shades um that i was swatching before but it is gorgeous and I'm telling you guys, I don't have another lip color that's exactly this shade. So I think that they did such a great job formulating this shade because it is so unique, but still so wearable, but still different, you know? And then the other shade that I fell in love with from the collection is called Fressa. So this one is kind of, I would say like a mixture between like an orangey red and a coral shade. It definitely has that bright coral undertone. It looks really good with a bronze eye. Like I just feel like that is the epitome of a summer makeup look. And I've been living for these two shades. Very, very beautiful shades. And you guys know, like I was saying before, I love Dose of Colors formulas already. So that one was like not a shock that I love the formula, but I really just like died for these shades. So amazing job, Karen. Of colors, Anna. Um, congratulations on everything. This next product that I want to talk about is actually something that I have never been a huge fan of. Um, I know that this product, it's the Eight Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. This product was like, I feel like it went through a phase where everybody used it, everybody loved it, and I never really got on board with it for some reason. But I tried it out again this month, early on this month, and I'm telling you guys. I don't know where I was or like what I was doing back in the day when this was like popping, but I love it now. And I don't know, maybe my skin changed a little bit. Maybe like now I can take a little bit of a heavier concealer because this definitely is a thicker concealer. When you um, squeeze it out, you can feel that the consistency is thicker. And like I said, I don't know if maybe my skin texture changed a little bit and um, I maybe before I, I wasn't able to take that heavy of a concealer and now I am, but I don't know. It is in my life now and I really, really like it. So like I was saying, you can see that even when it comes out, it's not like a lightweight runny concealer. It's a little bit of a thicker concealer. And if you've ever, used it or even swatched it, you'll probably know what I'm talking about when I say that it has that like a little bit of a weightier texture to it. But because of that, I feel like it really does fill in the little divots under your eyes. And as I've been getting older, I can definitely feel my under eyes um, starting to get like a little crazier. Like they just need a little bit more help. So I've been absolutely loving Bye Bye Under Eye now. And I do use the shade medium tan for underneath my eyes. What I normally do is I'll take this and put it underneath and then go over it with either my NARS um, creamy natural, uh, creamy radiant longwear concealer. Um, I'll go over it with that or Tarte Shape Tape. So I use this 
almost like a color corrector, similar to what I was using my Becca under eye uh, color corrector for. That's what I've been using this as, sort of like just to correct the under eyes, fill in the divots a little bit, make it look as smooth as possible. Um, and then the other way that I've been using this is actually as a brow bone concealer. I have loved this for brow bone concealer because it has that thicker consistency. Sometimes when I use um, thinner concealers, I feel like it gets into my brow hairs, but with this, I'm just able to really sharpen it up and make a really nice precise line underneath the brows to clean that up. So I've really been liking this and I don't know. I don't know where I was like when it was super poppin' before. Um, this is a new product to me and pretty new on the market, I would say, but it is amazing as well. So this is the Maybelline Master Precise All Day Liquid Liner. This has a very, very fine tip on it. And because of that, um, what my favorite thing to do with this is, is actually line the inner corner of the eyes. Like let's say you're not wearing much liner or even any liner, but you're wearing lashes, sometimes, it happens to the best of us, but sometimes you get like a little space between like your inner tear duct and then where your lashes start and it can look a little bit unfinished in my opinion. And so when that happens or whenever I'm having a day where like I get that little gap, I'll take this guy and because it's so tiny and precise, it's the perfect liner to like fill in this little inner corner. And that's really the main thing that I use this for, but I do kind of feel like it's, and essential for me now. Like every time I've been traveling, I feel like I have to bring this because it is so precise and none of my other liners are this precise to get right into that inner corner. So really been liking this and it is uh, obviously a drugstore affordable option. So that's amazing. Another amazing affordable product is this LA Girl um, Pro Powder HD High Definition. Eh. HD High Definition Setting Powder. This one is in the banana yellow shade, so it does have a bit of a tint to it. You guys know, um, typically I like my under eye powders to have tints, so here you can see it has like a yellow tint. This works amazingly to bake underneath the eyes. I do like that it's yellow, so then I feel like it's kind of color correcting the dullness and brightening everything up, and I just feel like it's such a great affordable option for you guys so that you can get that baking or get like a flawless finish without having to spend so much money on a powder because this really does work almost exactly the same as a lot of like the high-end powders that I've used in the past. The only thing that I will say is that there's not much product in here. So, I mean, I've only been using this for, you know, like maybe a little bit over a month and I'm already almost out because there's they don't put too much in here. The, the actual container is not that big, which has its pros and cons. I mean, it's obviously gonna be easier to travel with, not take up as much space in your makeup bag, but you are gonna run out of it quicker. I mean, the only, the only good thing is that it is drugstore, so it's um, not too much out of the budget to restock, but Definitely wanted to let you guys know that, you know, it is definitely smaller than like your traditional translucent powder containers. But other than that, I do really, really like the actual powder and the formula of it because it just kind of like sinks in, makes a flawless finish, gets me looking airbrushed as possible and I've been liking it. I've been liking it. <laughs> I finally tried out the Iconic London Illuminator. I have tried Iconic London products before. I just haven't tried this product before this month. Um, but I am so impressed, you guys. It is metallic. Like, definitely more pigmented than any other liquid highlighter that I've ever used. And it just looks so enticing when you like, put it on your face and it kind of drips, a little drip, drip action. It's such a pretty formula because like I said, it is so metallic. Like you really don't need much and it goes a long way. Um, I take about, I would say maybe like one drop and pounce it into the cheekbones and even a little bit on the forehead and down the middle of the nose. And it's just the most beautiful liquid highlighter because it does give that metallic sheen. And when you go over it even with like another highlighter or a powder highlighter if you're setting it, it is so beautiful. It's not glittery at all. It doesn't look like too much by any means. It just looks like your face is glowing, like you're lit from within, like, you just have a metallic sheen in all the right places. So I really, really like this formula. It blended out super easily. I feel like sometimes liquid highlighters blend out weird on me. Like sometimes they get kind of tacky and sticky and then powders um, 
when you're setting your face afterwards, it, they like stick to the wrong places, but I've never had that problem with this guy. Really, really like the formula and also the actual shade. One product that I wanna mention just because it's so different than anything else that I've seen on the market is this product from Flesh. So this is the Flesh Pot eye and cheek gloss. So this is a really cool product, like I said, so different than anything I've seen on the market and it's so beautiful, you guys. It has like a peachy golden sheen and it's a gloss, like it's a little gloss in a pot, but you can use this on your eyes or on your cheeks as like a highlighter and on the eyes it is stunning because it gives you like that wet glossy eye look, but it actually doesn't feel sticky. So you could wear this throughout the day. I've worn this out um, at night and even to events and I just feel like it gives me that look without having to feel gross on the eyes because if you've ever tried to get the glossy eye look or the wet eye look with a gloss, I've done that in the past and it looks cute at first but it, it kind of starts to feel gross on the eyes just because it is so sticky and it kind of starts to run into your like mascara and it can just get really messy. So this is such a cool product because you get the same look without it getting sticky or gross or like mm, gooey, you know? So it's, it's a really cool product. I haven't personally tried it on my cheeks yet, but I will say that just for the eye part alone, I feel like it's worth it if you are into like more editorial looks or if you're wanting to expand your horizons a little bit and just try out some different looks. And like I said, some glossy looks, some pretty glossy looks. And this brand is a really cool brand. It's actually a new brand. They're all about re, I, um, what's the word? Re reinventing, like, yeah, reinventing. Okay, so I thought of the word Sonic. They're all about like reinventing the word flesh and just making, um, or I guess just continuing this journey of like inclusivity and they have 40 foundation shades. Um, I went to the launch party so I, I learned a little bit about the brand um, and about the woman who started the brand and that was like, what they were all about. So I thought that was really cool. And they made sure that this particular shade, like the actual tone of this was very universal so that, um, you know, everybody can enjoy it. So I really like what the brand stands for. And particularly this product stood out to me as like a very unique and different product that could be just what you're looking for. If you're looking for glossy eye or cheek, but again, I haven't actually tried it on myself for the cheeks, but you could. These I'm so excited to tell you guys about. So when I was at Gem Beauty San Francisco, um, I actually went to the Bite Beauty Lab, the, the Lip Lab, it's called the Bite Beauty Lip Lab in San Francisco and I made lipsticks. I'm so excited. So I made two different formulas or I'm sorry, two different shades. If you have been with me for a long time, like years, then you know that I loved the Amuse Bouge lipsticks when they first came out. Like I was obsessed with the formula just because it was so long wearing and so like comfortable, moisturizing and everything. So I became a big fan of Bite, um, Bite Beauty uh, at that point. So I was so excited when they invited me to go to their lip lab and create some lipsticks. And of course I had to create um, the Amuse Bouge formula. So I created two shades, like I said. One is like this beautiful fiery red I made it smell like cherries and it smells so good, you guys. Like I wish smelling through YouTube was a thing right now so that you could smell this because it smells like a cherry Jolly Rancher or something. But this is in the shade Payeta and I, uh, <laughs> I named it Payeta because of our little debacle, debacle um, with Yesenia when she was like paleta, 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 paleta and then like it was a whole thing and we always laugh now and we just text each other paleta sometimes just to make each other laugh. It's like, it's just a little inside joke for us. But I named this one paleta because I don't know, it just looks like a paleta to me. Like it just looks like that should be its name, you know? So this is like an orangey red, like I said. I went more on the orange side than the red side because I, love like warm oranges like that on the lips, especially for the summer. And then the other shade that I created is like my perfect everyday nude. So this one I just called rocks because it was like, it's just an everyday color. So it's something that I could use, like I said, all the time. And it's a brown tone nude, of course. You know me, I had to do it. I added a little bit of warmth in there. So at first we had a bit more of a cooler brown, but I wanted to add a bit more of like a warm peachy undertone. So we added a little bit of like cinnamon hints in there. And I just feel like these two shades, 
represent me you know they're so me so pretty and I'm really really excited to um, continue using them and I just think it was like a cool experience and I didn't even know that they did that but they have lip labs now in San Francisco Los Angeles and then uh, New York so you could totally check one out if you want to go make your own lipsticks I also think that it would be a cute idea for like a birthday or like a bachelorette party maybe or just any sort of like little event that you guys would have I just think it's so cool to like be able to make your own lipstick and name it and like put scents to it oh I didn't tell you what the scent was of my rock shade this one's like not as fragrant actually but I put coconut vanilla to this one so you know I had to match the shades we got cherry for our red oh, the cherry one smells so good and then um, coconut vanilla for our nude we're moving on to some hair stuff you guys know I've been like obsessed with trying out hair products ever since I started dyeing my hair and just doing a bunch of stuff to my hair and you guys I have to talk about this. I used to use this back in the day religiously, but when I moved, I somehow lost like a bunch of hair products and I just recently went back to my parents' house and found a whole pack of these and I was like, oh my God, how did I forget about these? Cause these are incredible hair masks for really helping to, I guess just like revitalize your hair, especially if you have a lot of damage, split ends, dryness. This is going to be your savior. Like I swear it's like gold for the hair. So it's the Saint Tropica Organic Coconut Hot Oil Hair Mask. It is primarily coconut oil, but they also have some other ingredients here that help your hair not only get smoother and softer and shinier, but it actually helps your hair grow and grow thicker. So that's one thing that I am always searching for is stuff that's gonna help my hair look fuller and thicker and more voluminous. And I had totally forgotten about this, like I said, but once I started using it again, I was like, how could I have ever stopped? Like, it just makes such a difference in like the fluffiness of my hair. My hair feels healthier, like I said, smoother, shinier. Um, I was getting a lot of split ends at the bottom of my hair just because I've been doing so much to it. You know, especially with this last bit of bleach that we put in um, the other day. I definitely feel it in the ends of my hairs or I definitely was feeling it. But as soon as I started using this, seriously after like the first use, um, the first use back after not using it for a while, I noticed such a difference in my hair. Like it just kind of, I don't know if this is true. It's just kind of like, my experience, but it felt like it almost sealed at the ends. And I think the reason that it can do that is because it penetrates the hair follicles so deeply because it's a hot oil hair mask. So you put this in the microwave for like 20 seconds and then you start pouring it into your hair. And I personally disperse most of the oil at the ends just because I know that that's where I have the most damage. That's where I really want to, I guess, heal my hair and moisturize my hair and keep my hair looking the softest just because that's where I have the most damage um so I concentrate most of the oil here and then I work it up to my roots and I'm telling you guys it is a game changer like no split ends that I can tell I need to go ask Edson to get the final professional opinion but I don't see any split ends anymore ever since I've um restarted to use this and my hair definitely feels more like voluminous thicker softer, shinier, it's all good stuff, all good stuff. So I really, really like this stuff. Um, I have a couple more hair products that I wanna tell you guys for different things. So this guy is the IGK Beach Club Texture Spray. This is amazing for texturized hair. So like if I had a hairstyle like this today where it's just kinda like loose waves, I'll spray it in um, and I like to spray towards the bottom so it kinda like lifts the hair up and I just kinda like fluff my hair. And do you see like the volume and texture that it gives? I mean, I've already sprayed it in this morning, so, you know, we already got some Beach Club going on. But I really do feel like it makes a difference, especially if you are looking for a volume, hold, texture, everything like that to give a super beachy look. This is going to be your best friend. It is probably the best texturizing spray I've ever used just because I feel like it has a little bit of a thicker, grittier formula. So it can really hold the hair. It can really make sure that your hair has that texture. But again, like I said, holds the texture because there's nothing worse than putting texturizing spray in and then feeling like you don't have anything in like 30 minutes later. So this one actually holds throughout the day and it smells Amazing, like I feel like it smells like a pina colada on the beach, like specifically drinking a pina colada on the beach or a pineapple coconut. 
dessert or smoothie or something. Um, then the other hair product that I wanted to talk about is from Nature Lab Tokyo, and this is the Perfect Shine Oil Mist. This guy is kind of on the opposite end of the spectrum. We have a texturizing spray here and then an oil. So what I love about this oil is that it's so lightweight. It actually comes in like a little spray bottle, so you get a very fine layer of oil. It never weighs my hair down. It never makes my hair feel oily or greasy or anything. It just kind of like saturates it and does its job and keeps it hydrated and moisturized. But like I said, it doesn't weigh it down. So even on days like this, when I do have like texture in my hair, I can still spray this on the roots and kind of smooth out any flyaways and add some shine in here. And I literally do not feel like it messes up my styling at all. Like it doesn't weigh my hair down, like I said. But my favorite way to use this is actually when I'm doing more of like a sleek hairstyle. So let's say if I'm doing like a sleek bun or a sleek pony, um, I'll almost use this in replacement of a hair gel because with this, I'm getting nourishment and um, moisturization to the hair follicles instead of just using a hard gel that's just gonna do its job obviously and sleek back my hair. Um, I can get a little bit of nourishment because like I said, you guys, I'm telling you, I have had a lot of issues with breakage, split ends, etc. after dyeing my hair, but I do feel like I've found products that work for me that I can still style my hair the way that I want, but at least I'm doing something good for my hair, you know? Okay, so those are all my favorites for the month. Oh, I have one more favorite, which is a brush. This is the um, Zoeva 235 Contour Shader, but this is just a really quick one that I'm gonna throw in there, but I have been obsessed with this brush for blending out my brow bone um, highlight. I know that's like a very specific use, but this brush to blend out brow bone highlight is honestly the best brush I've ever used because it's angled. It has this really, really nice, mm, I wouldn't say fluffy, but definitely a little bit more of a dense brush head on it, so you can just blend out that highlight so easily, it's amazing. So that was just a little quick favorite um, to end it off, but one product or one brush this month that I did not get along with um, is the Morphe M530. And I don't know because I feel like I've used this before, so I don't know if I just got like a bad one. I picked this up at Ulta um, uh, towards the beginning of the month and I just, mm, it was so scratchy on my skin. And like I said, maybe I just got a bad one, but the biggest problem that I had with this, and I've had this problem with other brushes in the past, um, is that when I was trying to blend out my contour, I was actually picking up foundation and taking off like the liquid and cream products that I had underneath. So if you have ever struggled with that, you know that it's really difficult to then correct that. Um, and it just makes the makeup process a little bit harder. And obviously like there's so many brushes from Morphe that I do like and that I've, I use all the time, but for some reason, this one just did not work out for me this month. Maybe I got a bad one or something, but it was so scratchy too. Like it's not, it's not like a, it wasn't soft for me. And I just kind of like, I just, I really hate when they pick up like product like that and then make it all splotchy. It's just like one of my biggest pet peeves of makeup. But that is all that um, I hated this month. It was a good month for makeup apparently. I am gonna be incorporating more products that may not work for me. And that being said, that doesn't mean that like I hate these brands or anything like that. Obviously, sometimes like this stuff isn't gonna work for me and maybe it works for you and that's, that's just how the world works, you know? But I just wanna tell you guys my honest opinions on these products and yeah, so subscribe if you wanna see more videos like that, more best and worst, hauls, tutorials, all that good stuff. Subscribe right down below and turn those notifications on if you would like to stay notified. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. That was like the typical YouTuber speech right there. I will see you in my next video, bye.